Hi, Hui Wen. Thank you very much for taking the time to be here with us. As you know, oh, thanks. Yeah. Thanks, Isaac. <laughs> Thank you. As you know, we're opening up enrollment into the association again soon, and we'd like to talk to current associates who transitioned successfully, such as yourself. So again, thank you for your time. Thank you, my pleasure. I'm um, looking forward to sharing. Yeah, and, and my first question is very simple. Maybe you can just introduce your name and the company that you are transitioning into. Yep, um, so my name is Hui Wen, and I'll be trans transitioning to a medical science liaison or MSL role in a company called AstraZeneca. Absolutely. Perfect. Great. Thank you so much. I'm very excited for you. Um, Thank you. So you're happy and successful now, but I want to rewind to when you were facing your job search challenges and ask you what were some of the challenges you were facing um, uh, before you joined the association? Yeah, I think the ultimate challenge was that I don't even know how to draft a proper um, CV to, to apply for jobs, um, let alone I'm not sure what other opportunities are out there beyond academia and beyond postdoc. So, so yeah, that was the main struggle to e even figuring out what, what position should I look for. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, so you didn't know where to start, and we hear a lot of PhDs say the same thing. Um, after yeah. you joined the association, how did the association help you figure out where to start and help you transition? Yeah, I think because it's really good where cheeky scientists um, lay out all these different modules accordingly. So we, we get to work through all these materials step by step. So instead of jumping straight to a few positions and trying to narrow it down, we go through a process where we, we get to learn ourselves as well. I think it was a self-discovery moment um, to know where my strength and my passion lies before I, I eventually narrow down and focus a few positions of my interest. I think beyond that as well is um, there's this just, just the whole thing about networking and how to polish up our LinkedIn. I think that is is just wonderful because I did have a LinkedIn account, but it probably didn't serve much. Not until when chief scientists teach us how to lay out, how to write up a summary, what how to connect with people. I think that skill I know I will bring it with me forever. Like even in my my existing new job or my future job. It's just so powerful that I get to use these tips and then try to use it on. I think LinkedIn was the most powerful technique chief scientists have taught us um, and to reach out to people because that way when I came back to Australia, I actually get to just have really strong connections with people and they are very friendly to, to, to meet up. And yeah, whenever I share with my friends that, oh, I get to meet this manager, I get to meet that director. And they were like, how do you even get access to all these people? And mm -hmm. and yeah, it was absolutely through chief scientists who taught me all this step-by-step -step, um, strategies. That's great. Well, thanks for your feedback. And my, my last question is in terms of the private yeah. group. So you mentioned yeah. networking helped you, but having a network also helped you. How did the private Absolutely. group in the association um, help you in terms of your job search? Yeah, so in terms of the private group, it's because we can literally look up any keywords we want. If I want to look up for MSI, I just type in medical science liaison. And at any related post, someone or the previous Cheeky's poster will pop up. So that way I get to learn from past experience, what, what other people have gone through. Um, what are there to advise us and what are the do's and what are the don'ts. Um, so in, in a way, it's an informational kind of interview in that sense that we get to learn from people. But, but I can absolutely just post any question I want. Um, and then there are many chickies who are out there or consultants um, who are happy to just answer my our questions. And, and I think support is really great, especially we, we always see not just a success story, but more importantly, the challenges that Chiki faces. And it's always important to not repeat other people's, um, the, the things that wasn't meant to do it. So it was through all this advice and, and just learning from people's experience. I think that's the best thing and the support um, in overall. That's fantastic. Well, thank you very much for your time. And we're very excited for you. And you know, I look forward to watching you, your success now with the new job and beyond. Thanks. Thanks, Isaac. Thank you. Thank you.